Hey guys, Kizzy here with another video. This video is going to be a first impression slash demo slash review on the new CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream that I picked up yesterday uh, from my drugstore. I was holding Sorry, oh god. I, I went to my drugstore to pick up something else and then I was just, you know, moseying down the cosmetics aisle and I noticed this. But I first noticed that it said uh, matte and for oily skin. So, you know, I had to pick it up, right? Because I have combination oily skin where my T-zone gets extremely oily and my cheeks and everywhere else is pretty much normal to dry or dry to normal. When I went yesterday, it was on sale for, I believe, $9.95, I think. And regular price is like $10 or over $10 or something like that. We are well into summer here and uh, BB cream is like the best thing to use. What I've been using, I've been using the Kiss BB cream that I picked up from my beauty supply store. But I don't think it says it's for oily skin. This one is uh, oil free, lightweight, and even skin tones. This is all it says. First thing I noticed when I got there was that there weren't a lot of shade selections in um, this BB cream, which, you know, not surprising. There was about six shades and it ranged from fair, light, light, medium, um, medium, medium deep, and deep. And I picked up the deep, obviously, because, I mean, it was the darkest shade that they had for, you know, women of color. This is how it comes. It comes in your regular, uh, standard squeezy tube. The claims that it promises is that it, it provides the perfect amount of coverage to even skin tone, hide blemishes, and keep you shine free all day. It says that it's oil free, it won't clog your pores, suitable for sensitive skin, and lasts all day. And this is good for... 12 months. Another thing that I noticed about this is that it doesn't have an SPF in it and I know that most BB creams do usually have an SPF but this one doesn't. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a demo of how this works. I hope it matches me but we'll see. So if you want to see how this BB cream looks on me just keep on watching. So I went ahead and did my brows. Um, I do have a video on my channel about how I fill that in. I will link it below in case you guys are interested, interested to see how I did that and then I went ahead and did my eyes as well. I'm just going to go ahead and um, apply the BB cream. Normally I would go ahead and prime my face whenever I use a BB cream or a foundation or whatever. I would prime my t-zone using a mattifying primer and the rest of my face, the perimeter of it, I would use a hydrating primer for that. But um, for this video I'm not going to prime. I'm just going to go ahead and apply the the BB cream and see how it works out throughout the day. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a shake and then we're going to go ahead and apply it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and dot that all over my face. Hopefully this shade works out for me. I'm going to go ahead and use my Real Techniques sponge to um, buff that into my skin. It is damp. Okay, this is like running really, really, really um, yellow so far. Oh my god. Like, I don't know. After I've finished blending everything out, I don't know how it's gonna. But so far. Wow. Okay, I don't know, guys. I don't know how it's coming up on camera, but in real life, it's like really yellow. We're going to continue though. Okay, this is really light. This is way too light for me. I really wish they had like darker shades. But we're going to continue to blend it out. Oh my god, this looks horrible. Hopefully after I finish the rest of my face and kind of bronze it out, it'll look... It'll look okay, but I don't know about this. This really sucks. Okay, we're going to put some on my neck to kind of make sure everything is blended. Nicely, and it doesn't look like I'm wearing a freaking mask. <sighs> God damn it, that's a lot of freaking blending to kind of make this look 
normal. Okay. I think this is the best I can do for this, guys. As you can see, this is obviously light yeah. coverage because you can still see my um, freckles and my beauty mark still peeking through here and then this side too. So it just basically just even up my skin tone, which is what it said, which is nice, but everything's still showing through. I'm sure if I layer it, maybe it might cover it better, but I don't really mind my freckles um, showing. <laughs> So I'm just going to leave it at with the one layer and then, wow, it feels really, feels like there's nothing there, which is good. So this is what it looks like, one layer. I feel like it's too light for my skin tone, a little bit yellow, but we're going to continue. We're going to go off and finish the rest of my face, hopefully. After I use my bronzer and bronze things up, it kind of even things up, makes it look semi-normal, a little bit normal, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to go off and finish the rest of my face, and I'll be right back to show you guys how everything comes together. Alright guys, so I'm back with the final look. Um, I did uh, went ahead and set the BB cream with a powder, and I also used my setting spray afterwards. Like, I can't not prime before I'm not set, so I had to do something. I'm going to now go through the rest of my day and hi hi may I help you yeah what's up um, I'm good too. okay thank you yeah okay so I'm gonna go out through the rest of my day I'm um I don't really have Lots planned to do today. I'm probably just gonna just be cleaning and maybe I know cleaning with like full face of makeup or whatever. Probably just cleaning. Probably take my little terror. <laughs> I love my son. My little terror out for a walk so he can burn up some energy. And I will check in throughout the day to um, show you guys how the uh, BB cream is holding up. So um, yeah, I will be back later. Oh, right now it's about 115 or 116. So I will be back in a couple hours to um, show you guys how it's going. So be back soon. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm back with my check-in and my final thoughts on the CoverGirl Clean Matte um, BB Cream for Oily Skin. The time is now 9.25 p.m. And I've basically been wearing this face for a little over 8 hours now. And I gotta say, I'm quite pleased with the way... The BB cream held up. As you can see, I'm a bit shiny. Here, I'll just take my glasses off. See that my nose is a bit shiny. Um, I didn't blot or powder my face all day. I really didn't do anything. I did do things around the house. I did take my son out for a really nice long walk. We went to the park, um, and I was sweating like I was a hot mess, y'all. I was dripping sweat everywhere. There was like, ooh. right. So to see that it lasted for that long with me being completely, completely drenched with sweat, I'm very, very pleased. I feel like it oxidized. And I was a little bit worried that it was kind of too light for my skin. But I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it oxidized a little bit darker, so it can definitely pass the color, I think, which is good. So I don't know if you can gauge off of my skin tone, if you're my skin tone, or a little bit lighter maybe this um color can pass for some of my chocolate girls out there but maybe the ones that are deeper sh uh, complexion than me probably not so much you can notice where um, i did wear my i didn't wear contacts today i did wear my glasses all day so you can see like um the little what is that indent thing from the glasses on my nose right here you can see where it kind of it also <clears throat> broke up along my nose area here like I guess that's where I was sweating the most I also did not prime beforehand in case you guys remember that I didn't um, use my mattifying primer on my nose in this area here my t-zone is where I get oily the most so this was kind of expected for me it's just around my nose here you can see that it's definitely a little bit patchy and the foundation broke up there but um, along the sides here 
where my glasses were. You can see that it's gone there too, along this side as well. Another thing I noticed with um, this uh, foundation or BB cream is that it didn't transfer at all, which I really appreciated because with a with a toddler, with all the kisses and cuddles and everything like that, nothing was transferred on onto him. I also did take a quick nap. I am. <laughs> I am almost 39 weeks pregnant guys so I'm exhausted like all the time so I did take a quick nap and I didn't notice any transfer on my pillow or anything like that which which I appreciate. Final thoughts on this, I really really, I give this a thumbs up. I really like that it, it didn't cling to my dry spots. It lasted pretty much all day other than my t-zone area which is fine. In the future I definitely will prime before I put it on and see if that works better. I really like that it's lightweight, it didn't transfer. What else? It's an overall great product and I'm very pleased. The only things I don't like about it is the shade selection. I don't like that they're literally only two shades for women of color. Every brown girl and their mama has said something about cosmetic companies not making enough shades for us sisters, so you know. And I don't really like the fact that it doesn't have an SPF in it. So if you're gonna use it, make sure you use moisturizer with an SPF in it. I didn't do that, but in the future I definitely will. So those are the only two downsides I think, or two cons I think I don't like about the BB cream, but overall it's a definite A plus for me. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh man. I just had some Chipotle and it's really good. It's like, ooh. Yeah, girl, I'm so full. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys, for future videos for me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!